The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. Vignettes, Enemies, and Friends. The first part of this video contains a brief summary of each vignette. This video is not to be substituted for actually reading the vignettes or short stories. Instead, it is a means to assist the reader with reading comprehension. Enemies. It was about something stupid, a missing jackknife, but even so, the fight was vicious. Summary of Enemies. In this vignette, the characters are Dave Jensen and Lee Strunk. While on patrol one morning, Jensen and Strunk get into a fight over an alleged stolen jackknife. During the altercation, Jensen breaks Strunk's nose. This leads to Jensen becoming nervous about possible retaliation from Strunk. Thus, Jensen becomes obsessed with Strunk's movements and his whereabouts. This slowly drives Jensen to insanity, so he uses his own pistol and breaks his own nose in order to settle the issue. When Strunk finds out what Jensen has done, he finds it amusing, so he then admits to stealing the jackknife. Friends. Dave Jensen and Lee Strunk did not become instant buddies, but they did learn to trust each other. This vignette demonstrates how Jensen and Strunk learn to trust each other. They make a pact that if one of them becomes seriously injured, that the other will kill him in order to end his misery. Later, Strunk is severely injured as his lower leg is blown off during an altercation. However, he begs Jensen not to follow through with their original agreement. Instead, Strunk ends up being airlifted out, but he doesn't survive the trip. This has Jensen relieved that Strunk has died. Analysis of Enemies and Friends Now that you have an overview of the reading, now comes the fun part, analyzing the text. Theme. The message that O'Brien wants the reader to see is that the pressure of war entails that soldiers modify conventional social codes because of the extreme danger and situations that face them during war. This is evident as the two men who are fighting for the same side also become violent with each other in a personal confrontation. The author explains that the immaturity of the youthful soldiers is a major cause as well as the chaotic and anxious surroundings that breeds this contentious relationships among the soldiers. Topic. The topic of acceptance is relative to the enemy's story because Strunk's acceptance of Jensen's willingness to break his own nose and actually doing the act demonstrates that both men accept responsibility for their actions. However, the men are only taking responsibility because of their guilt rather than out of integrity which is, again, a breakdown of the conventional social codes. Paradox. Paradox is expressed in the titles of the vignettes. For example, in Enemies, the two men are violently opposed to each other and get into a physical altercation, while at the same time, they are fighting on the same side of the war. Additionally, in Friends, rather than being saddened by Strunk's death, Jensen is instead relieved. Both of these examples demonstrate the unexpected or contradictory way in which the men behave while breaking the normally acceptable social codes. The men embody the idea that pacts and promises are more important than friendship. Jensen demonstrates this because he feels as though he has erred by not honoring his pact to kill Strunk if he was injured, even though at the same time Strunk begs to end the pact. O'Brien ultimately suggests through his writing that war destroys the idea of honor when one is faced with possible death. Additionally, the concepts of right and wrong are blurred during war. For example, Jensen's relief regarding Strunk's death has more to do with the pact than it does with the friendship. Jensen's feelings about the honoring agreement outweigh his actions of honoring Strunk's final wishes. Have more questions? Contact your instructor.